Today's video will be covering everything you need to know about Casper for all new Casper holders out there. Casper coin has many reasons for being where it is as a cryptocurrency right now and will definitely be a huge currency in the future. So let's dive into all the reasons Casper coin is gaining price and what it has to offer. Its confirmation times are virtually instant, they are bottlenecked only by the internet latency itself, a rare feature for proof of work cryptocurrencies. This is crucial for payment coins in my opinion, as you can't wait around for a couple minutes when trying to pay for something, it needs to be instant. It was fair launched, so you need to have superb tech to be able to launch without VC backing or ICO funding. Casper has obviously managed to survive without them. This is ideal since their VC slash ICO sell pressure, which is why in part I believe the price action has been so strong and organic. And of course there was also no pre-mine. These trades make Casper immune to potential SEC security classifications as well, and this makes it at least as immune as Bitcoin is. I know that a lot of cryptocurrencies say this, but Casper is not just a decentralized network. Many coins claim decentralization, but only aspects of their project are decentralized, while many of them are still ran by and guided by a central team. Most projects seem to do this. In fact, Casper has no team. It's just a network that exists and people are free to use it and develop on it if they want. True decentralization, it's open source and it's ran by and is future decided upon by the community that naturally form together. Anyone can join the community and participate in voting. This happens on the Discord, so you can head over to there to vote on things. It's very democratic and has a positive environment. They do have top tier developers in Casper. The community devs, all of them are coding and cryptographic aces. Arguably, they're the best in the industry, guided by Jonathan Sompolinski, who is an absolutely brilliant and equally humble man. A crypto dev who's been in the industry since the beginning, and who wrote many heavily cited and reference papers on crypto over the years. A crypto genius and I believe his work on BlockDAG will go down in history as one of the most revolutionary developments in cryptocurrency. Casper also has speed. This is a big one. Casper is not only the fastest proof of work, it's far and away the fastest and very soon it will increase its blocks per second greatly from 1 block per second to 32 blocks per second, massively improving the throughput, making Casper very future proof. This is hard for proof of work to achieve yet crucial for scalability. Projects mislead investors by claiming high transactions per second because on paper that sounds like it directly relates to overall speed. The term transactions per second is a bit of a misnomer. TPS is normally irrelevant in light of blocks per second. Blocks per second is what ultimately bottleneck speed. Casper doesn't need to hide this because its blocks per second of 1 blocks per second is already phenomenal. For a proof of work cryptocurrency it's unheard of basically. This translates overall to a much more capable network for handling massive amounts of traffic, better than projects that claim 50,000 transactions per second, but don't mention their block times and confirmation times might take 2 to 3 minutes. Its speed is impressive for any project, but for proof of work again, it's a major breakthrough. Casper is also super efficient as it uses far less power than Bitcoin or other proof of work projects. Casper is a proof of work that has figured out how to achieve the major disadvantage of proof of stake, which is speed. While the security and the decentralization of proof of work allows us to achieve all three aspects of scalable projects. Something no project has done yet. Casper is very secure because it uses Bitcoin's consensus mechanism. Scalability is the big question mark in the crypto industry and could projects scale is what everyone's asking. Turns out that Casper can and is able to support a ton of throughput while being decentralized. Countless projects claim that they are scalable, but there's always a caveat such as having a central team or still in the speculative phase of development. Casper has no caveats. If you find one, then please leave them in the comments below. When it comes to Casper mining, it's definitely the most profitable GPU mining coin that has a very large market cap. There are other coins like Dynex and Nexa, but they are very small market caps. Sometimes it jostles around first place, as I said, between Nexa and Dynex but on average it's been the number one spot for the last six months. Its tokenomics surely have a hand in this. The emission schedule is designed to take 36 years, which is relatively quick. It's done like this, so by the time ASIC miners actually join the network, the good majority of Casper will already be mined and held by GPU miners. Everyday people instead of massive corporate ASIC farms. And it says that ASICs are going to come no matter what. Casper community does accept this and attempts to mitigate that inevitability rather than trying to resist it entirely, which is futile. This is a good incentive for GPU miners right now, and we're already seeing FPGAs join the network. 
It's the only coin that currently, in my opinion, is a viable choice to literally be used as a currency in the real world. It's everything Bitcoin hoped to have been by now, but Bitcoin didn't have the luxury of hindsight and what the transactions per second and blocks per second looked like in the future. It paved a way for something like Casper to exist, and it can be a currency without relying on something like the Lightning Network, which so far hasn't really proven to be a great solution for Bitcoin and hasn't lived up to expectations. Casper is a block DAG, which I like to think of as blockchain's kind of older brother. Other projects have tried to implement DAGs, but none have a ledger that uses DAG principles, at least not as decentralized proof-of-work coins. Some use DAGs in their consensus mechanisms, but none have actually ordered blocks in parallel while being able to retain security. This is surely part due to the fact that Casper has been developed for nearly 10 years and was only ready to be released recently. So it has a massive head start on block DAG technology, which is easy to see comparing to other implementations of block DAG. Casper is light years ahead of what can be seen as a new crypto sector that many believe will revolutionize the industry. It's almost like being first to the market if you consider block DAG a secondary market. So if competition wants to compete, it's going to be a while before real competitors show up, at which point Casper could be very far ahead like Bitcoin is right now. Again, we have Yonatan and the community devs to thank for block DAG as they were the ones who published the papers on it. All these things are great, but Casper's value increases exponentially when you combine them all together. A lot of Casper's functions and features and aspects complement each other. Lots of projects can maybe do one or two of these aspects, but none of them can do all of them. And a few of these aspects Casper is clearly the leader at. And while Casper has many pros, arguably the biggest thing going for it, in my opinion, is how few cons it has. It's the only project that has been researched thousands of times and has zero red flags and no obvious potential obstacles and no trade-offs to achieve what it does. If you're trying to research a coin, normally it's really hard to find answers to certain questions like what are the confirmation times, what are the total transaction times, how is the supply distributed and if it's actually decentralized. These are easy questions to answer from Casper, yet some projects purposely don't answer them as they hide the answers or skirt around the question. Casper, you will notice, is very easy to research. All its metrics and stats and all the papers on Ghost DAG and Block DAG have been published and you can look at them. So how have these things translated into the charts? Well, Casper's price performance dominated anything in the top 500 and top 1000 since it launched on exchanges last May. It's done something like 20,000% in a bear market, which is instantly a long-term hold and has the best potential of any project so far. I suspect many other people have had an overwhelming feeling when they first heard about Casper. The first time you send some and you see it work nearly instantly, it's a great moment and you can see how much work has been put into the block DAG and what the actual basis are for Casper. Now they do have huge improvements in the pipeline. The code is being rewritten from Go language to Rust and this has required lots of work, but they are close in testing and I think they just went into the alpha stage. This has greatly streamlined many aspects of Casper, including bringing the blocks per second from 1 up to 32. And the DAG Knight, which is the next iteration of Ghost DAG, is going to take a little while, but will be a monumental improvement to the already great Block DAG network. You can read the Ghost DAG white paper, I've done a load of videos on it, and the DAG Knight white paper. Just head over to the channel and check them out to see how they actually work. And the Ghost DAG white paper was mentioned in the ETH white paper as a design goal and a possible path for Ethereum. However, Ethereum went the blockchain route as it was easier and less risky. But now we have Yonatan actually bringing BlockDAG into a cryptocurrency. With all of Casper's success so far, it's still pretty small at half a billion dollars in market cap and has plenty of room to run. Tons of room if you believe it can get into the hundreds of billions in market cap, which I personally believe it can. There is no in-between for Casper. If the industry continues to accept it, it will soon be apparent that it's unmatched. Also, Casper has achieved this without yet listing on Binance, KuCoin, or Coinbase. Those are all future events that will actually happen and catalyze Casper's adoption even further. So far, we're up 20,000%, as I said, from May. And again, this happened in a bear market, and that's actually crazy. We are listed on MEXC, Gate.io, two top 10 exchanges that have massive volume. And recently, we got onto Hotbit. And there's a couple of others too, like TradeOgre and TXBit. Wallet distribution also is nicely spread among the top 100 wallets. This is something that many projects won't even show you. This graph is spread out a lot compared to other project distributions that we have seen. Another great outcome of being fair launched. 
Some criticize Casper for not having smart contracts, but Casper was designed to be a layer one payment coin, which is a currency, not a DApp platform. It is designed to be what the industry initially set out to do. That said, the devs designed Casper with future smart contract implementation in mind, and that is the plan, I believe, after Dagnite, which could be around one to two years away, but it's hard to speculate on that. Everything I said here can be easily verified with your own research and your own testing of the network. It's all open source and up and running, the Casper web wallet is the best way to store Casper currency. It takes a couple minutes to create and you can make a password and receive a passphrase, which you must store safely. You can find the link on the Casper website. You can just click here on this web wallet and it's highly secure and straightforward. There's also a desktop version and ledger support is on the way. So we could be seeing that through your ledger wallets. You can also check out Casper's block dag in action on this live graphical representation of the ledger at any time. And many thought that this block parallel ordering would be impossible and many still do and they just haven't seen this block dag in action. And this is a live update of the network. So that's it for the video. It's kind of the basics of Casper, what you need to know about it before it actually becomes this massive coin. We've already seen a massive increase, but I think we're going to see way more in the future. If you did enjoy and you did learn something, please like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check out the other Casper coin videos on the channel.